Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde fantasy. Welcome back, darling. I'm Cognac Willowlane, and I'm here with Sarah, Sharon Letts. Sharon Smith Letts. Mm. Yes, Dark from Dark Shadows. Original Shad Dark Shadows. Original Dark So you play Little Sarah. Yes. Oh, my God. I used to watch that show faithfully every single day. Were you one of those uh, children that ran home from school? Yes, I was one of those kids that ran home from school, and I watched you every day at 4 o'clock. And I love Jonathan Fred, and oh I love the yes. cast. It was just a wonderful cast. Tell my audience about your experience on Dark Shadows. Well, first I have to say that Dark Shadows, the original Dark Shadows, uh, ran from 66 to 71. It was the original gothic soap opera. It certainly was. It, 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 Jonathan Frid, who played Barnabas Collins, the lead in Dark Shadows, who was the lovable vampire, uh, kind of set the stage for a lot of what we see today when it comes to the horror genre. And he gave the character dimension. He wasn't just scary. He was vulnerable. Uh, he made you love him as well as being afraid of him. Yes, absolutely. He had a, a, quite a bit of charm. He certainly did. He was uh, well schooled in theater and he brought that to, he, he brought the whole sense of the theater and the, uh, the, the group of actors, the ensemble that was there uh, brought it to the camera. Yes. In a soap opera, who yes. go figure? And you also worked with a legendary movie star, who Joan Bennett. Joan Bennett, who played your mother, I believe. Uh, 
Was she your mother? Or? No, no, actually, Joan Bennett was a relative, but I see, I was a ghost. So okay, I, I see, I, I see. Back. Yes, I was John or Barnabas's little sister. So Sarah was. You were the little girl that used to haunt the little boy in the in the yeah, show. Kinda, I remember that. Kinda. Now I, I, it's coming back to me. You I wanted to be friends. I think his name was David. David was name. Yeah. So you haunted David. Yeah, I didn't really even know that I was dead in the beginning. So it was a little confusing for me. Um, I was 10 years old at the time, and I guess I just did what I was told. Uh, I didn't catch the whole storyline. I knew that there were ghosts involved and vampires and witches, but I wasn't afraid. It was all pretend, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Oh my God, what a thrill to interview you. Now, also you had such beautiful actresses on there, like Lara Parker, who played Angelique, yes. and uh, Catherine Lee Scott. Scott, she played uh, Josette. Yes, they're actually on a cruise right now. Are they really? <laughs> yeah, they're on a Dark Shadows cruise, yes. So they still work, and there's still that genre of people that love oh. Dark Shadows to this has, day. It has a huge following. It's phenomenal that a show that's almost 50 years old um, I know, I has such a, a huge following. And not just the original viewers. Over the years, we've gotten generations after generations of viewers, and there are currently, even just to my knowledge, there are 20-year-olds, 25-year-olds that are very much into the original Dark Shadows. Yes. I Well, I adored that show. I just adored it. And I just loved all the characters. And I remember after that went off the air, uh, Dan Curtis made a, he made a number of productions, movies, there films. Were, there were two movies, uh, House of Dark Shadows and Night of Dark Shadows. Uh, one was a little bit gorier than the show ever was or was allowed to be. Um, so that brought in a whole nother audience. You know, He's still making films, Dan Curtis? Dan Curtis has passed. Oh, he so does. He's, he's not. Um, yeah, I think they were the only two movies. Now, obviously, we all know that there has been a, a new Dark Shadows movie. Yes, Johnny with Depp. Johnny Depp. It was on television a couple of days ago. I was watching really? it. I was watching it. But, and then he did a marvelous job as the part of Mr. Collins. Uh, well, I have to I say, still think no, Jonathan one, Frey was better. no one can replace my no, Barnabas. Yes, nobody can true. replace Barnabas Collins. Well, I thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Can you tell my audience, is there a website or a Facebook page where we can follow you or learn more information Absolutely. about your films? There are movies? many, many Dark Shadows uh, groups online. Uh, I couldn't, so many I couldn't number, but I have a Facebook page that is Sharon Smith Lentz, that's S-M-Y-T-H-L-E-N-T-Z, my married name, and you can follow along with where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing. I'm actually involved in the independent film industry right now, uh, just kind of in the beginnings, and I'm tickled to death that this, excited. that being in Dark Shadows so many years ago has afforded me the opportunity to kind of recreate myself and get involved with the youth of the independent film industry now. Wonderful. Well, I congratulate you and, and good luck as we say in show business. Break a leg and thank, thank you, you so much for thank you. talking to us right here. Thank you. Have thank fun. You, we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. The terror of the past is but a taste of the future. What happened before was a hint of the horror to come. The first time was only a warning. William Holden, Lee Grant, Damien, Omen 2. Tell me about Damien. What sort of a boy is he? A warning. <laughs> I'm Cognac Willalane, and I'm here with Elizabeth the Shepherd, famous Elizabeth Shepherd from The Omen 2. Elizabeth, tell my audience, um, is this the first time you've ever been to the Macaw Film Festival? 
to, to this particular festival. Yes, I, this is my, my debut at this particular uh, What do you think of it? Well, so far it's very nice. It's <laughs> very nice, yeah, right? Yes. And so far it's very nice. It's <laughs> very nice, yeah, right? Yes. And this is extraordinary to have a red carpet reception like this. It's wonderful. So I understand that this particular um, uh, show is still, it's two years, is it? It's a few years now. A few years, a few years. Well, I wish it well, and I'm very, very happy to be here. Now, tell my audience about your experience on Omen 2. What was that like? My experience on Omen 2 was, was unique. I was the first one who knew who the boy was, so he had to kill me, and he killed me with birds. Oh, my God. And so the wrangler for the birds was the same man who did the birds for the birds the hitchcock movie and i was supposed to work with the birds who were going to peck my eyes out with a mask of my own face over my face however mike hodges who was the original director said we can't possibly do close-ups will you work with the birds without the mask so i said yes and so uh the bird would be tied to my black wig and I would look as if I was trying to get rid of the bird, but I actually had hamburger in my fingers to stop it pecking my eyes out. It was quite scary. So you were terrified? Well, uh, by the end, I think. I think the bird in the end was more scared than I because it was very uncomfortable for it um, to be tied to my... And then it would, eventually it would fall off and I would hold it quaking in my hands until we were both released. And then I got run over by a Mack truck because, of course, I couldn't see. Now, how long did it take for that scene to actually take place? I mean, was there, did you have to do many takes oh, on yeah. that scene? And we actually had to do it twice because Mike Hodges, they decided they were going to change directors, so we did it again. Um, but but it was that was an extraordinary experience, as you might imagine. But um, it was wonderful to work with William Holden. What yes, a, what oh my God, William Holden, wasn't he something? Oh, such a gentleman and a wonderful actor, of course. Oh yes, absolutely. So and uh, so handsome in oh, his day. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, and so uh, earlier, I had worked with Vincent Price. Oh, I love Vincent. I love the way I love the way he used to talk. Oh, he was. Nice. He had such a distinct voice, didn't Most he? Beautiful. And so the Tomb of Ligeia was the last of the Roger Corman, Edgar Allan Poe series with Vincent. And the script was by uh, Robert Town. It was a love story, and uh, I found it quite easy to fall in love with Vincent Price. And you were in that film? I was. I played the dead wife, Ligeia. And oh, the you know, wife. Do you know that that movie was on yesterday? I was watching it. Really? I was watching it. Oh. I saw you on television yesterday. Excellent. And it was on the movie channel in Long Island. This is a new channel. Really? And I saw you on television. I said it was a whole bunch of Vincent Price movies. Really? And they were showing it on TV. Oh, Isn't that ironic? And here you are today talking to me. Yes. Well, they've just re released it on Blu ray. And I've done a new commentary for it so I hope people will enjoy it. So it's a wonderful the, film. You play the original yes, wife was, Ligeia. Yes I was well you saw it. I saw it. So that's me. That's me. You're so Rowena, gorgeous. Well Rowena you know going through that nightmare but it's a love story. Yeah, I know, I know. I was watching and he was he was just marvelous in the movie, just marvelous. Well, I'm very it's it stood the test of time. And I'm certainly proud did. of it. Yes. Now, tell my audience, are you working on anything now? Are you doing anything I that we played, should know about? I played Driving Miss Daisy last year. Um, at the moment I don't have any acting coming up, but when I'm not acting, I teach Shakespeare at an acting school. So I'm always busy. You're always looking stunning, beautiful. You're a beautiful actress. Can we follow you? Do you have a Facebook page? Do you have a website? I I don't. Uh, I have a Facebook, but I I I really don't use it myself very much. I know everybody does, but um, maybe I should get my son to organize a website for me. Well, what you should get him to do is take some pictures of like this event tonight and post it on Facebook so your fans can see that. Yes, well, maybe I will 
uh, I'll, I'll think about that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to me right here at the Macaw Film Festival. And as we say in show business, break a leg. Yes, I will. Well, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm, certainly, I just, I'm certainly looking forward to this because, you know, when we make movies, we don't meet the audience. And so this is our opportunity to meet the fans. Which thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. This has been a Cry Baby production.